everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. Oh, yeah, I got a messed up shoulder. Yesterday was an amazing day. It was, I went on a hike after I did my last, um, before I did my last video, and then I did my last video. That hawk was amazing. That was a nice touch at the end, right? Anyway, so then I came back here and I had enough money from selling and all that stuff. Beautiful bird to go down to the valley and get some supplies. And I did, I had, I did, I had a day, of, I made a day of it, right? I had a good, great time. First I went and got some medicine, and they were awesome. Got exactly what I needed, really cheap. Then I went and washed Dharma. She loved it, got her all suds up. And then I went and did laundry, which was a breeze. I love being in Southern California. It's like being in Mexico, it's beautiful. By the way, I would have been a Mexican if California hadn't won, because my people have been here for over 100 years. Anyway. Side note. Anyway, so I was at the laundromat and told I was like the only white dude. It's awesome. Well, I'm not even really white Portuguese, Indian, but whatever. So I'm doing laundry. That was perfect. Then I went to, to take a shower at the at the Love's truck stop, and I'm I had the money to pay for it. It's 15 bucks. And right as I'm getting ready to pay, this Sikh gentleman from India comes up behind me. He has the turban. Really cool. Anyway, so he comes up. And he goes, no. He goes, don't pay for that. And I'm like, what do you mean don't pay for that? I'm like, what? He's all, I have unlimited showers. I'll buy it for you. I was like, what? He's all, take your card out. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I, I was like looking at him. I was like, wow, thank you. That's a blessing. Thank you. He's like, no problem. He was like, really awesome. And I, I asked him his name and I shook his hand. I was like, thank you very much. And I wished him Merry Christmas. But he doesn't, you know, I don't think he observes that so much. But yeah, it was an amazing day. And then I went and did shopping. I went to Walmart and got exactly what I needed, everything, even the Dairy Gold Old Fashioned Chocolate Milk. So yeah, it was an amazing day. And I even had enough money to get Panda Express afterwards. Mm. It was a good day. Got back in time, pulled in, re readjusted all my supplies, and you know, it's a good day. I'm just saying. And this morning, and I had last night, I was trying to sleep, but I couldn't. Uh, it was weird. I don't know if it was just jazz from the whole day. It was really a lot. I was doing a lot of interacting. Like some some black dude was behind me when I was checking out my food. I was like, ding, ding, trying to do it really fast because I wanted to get the hell out of there. I was hungry and I wanted to go to Panda. So, and he was funny because he kept pulled in before and I was almost done. He's like, no, I'll go to another one. And then he, he ended up coming back because there like other people were like, probably had like shop carts full and he didn't. So he comes back and I was just done. He was like, man, you look like out me. And I'm like, hell yeah. I was like, I'm hungry. I can't wait to go. And I'm like, I'm like, see you later. And he's like, hey, you too. And I was like, oh, Merry Christmas. You know, I was doing that. Oh, another thing, when I was at the pilot's truck stop and I was walking in, another black gentleman was walking out, older guy. And I said, I was, you know, I said, what's up? And he's all here. And I was like, Merry Christmas. He's like, yeah, Merry Christmas. And I'm sitting in my vehicle waiting to take my shower because they call your number. And I saw him come back out of the store. And some other guy was walking up and he wished him Merry Christmas. I was like, yes. I was like, start the way, baby. You know, just positive. Don't have to be about Christmas, whatever you celebrate, but just happy holidays, you know. You know, what a Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, you know, whatever, right? Just the season, the, the winters, you know, the warmth, the hearth, the fire. Did the fire go by? Oh, yeah. Check it out, baby. I'm in, my, I'm in my prime. Oh, by the way, one of the big downloads I had, and I'll do, I'll do a video about that separate, is 70s music. 60s, 70s, and 80s. It's timeless. That's going to be part of your light work. Is listening to that music Motown punk you know soft rock country southern rock every, all of it doesn't matter you know new wave it's all included and if there's the vibration of it the beginning of age of Aquarius which apparently was some guy said it was like 1967 was when the beginning of the age of Aquarius my birthday is May 4th 1970 I like to think that I came in on the age of Aquarius by the way, Kent State Massacre happened on the day that I was born. And I'd like to think, and my mother told me that the, 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 the clock in the room that I was being, I was delivered in, stopped at, at 8.59 a.m. And, and it was wired to the building. So she was like, I knew you were gonna be special. And the, the sad part, yeah, is those four kids got killed. And I was thinking about that, and I was like, if I'm gonna be a powerful healer, then maybe the dark thought it needed some kind of balance by you know doing some bullshit right dark side so it sucked but anyway it's it's a powerful beginning and i'm hoping to be able to do something positive with it but here's another thing i realized i've been watching tarot for the last three years and i've been studying it 
and I've been, I have like five decks, and I've been throwing it, and I was trying to figure out why am I so, in, I mean, and, it, and I was learning about my power and all these ancestor curses and angels. It's bizarre, but but I was in I was, what I was doing, and I didn't realize it as I was studying the enemy, because not all light workers, I mean, not all people reading tarot work for the light, and that's just a fact. A lot of them are misleading. A lot of them are really deceptive. Some of them are just downright demonic, just evil. And basically, what my job is, is to get into my power, is to be, well, basically, I'm a witch with a dick. Oh, yeah. And they don't like that. They, if, they want to, if they want to get it on, they got to strap it on, right? And I'm an old man, baby. I'm, I encompass the feminine and the, mis, and the masculine. And that's a powerful combination. And what, another thing that, that a lot of people don't understand is I was raised around the feminine power. Both my older sisters, both very, they're, they were fucking Amazons. My sister Shalene Shelley was more of a feminine. She was more of the goddess trying to seduce her. She can kick ass. Trust me, she punched me in the face. It was, it was hard. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, she was an Amazon woman, but she was also a seductress. My sister Deanna was just straight Amazon. She'd kick your ass, but guys still liked her, you know, that kind of thing. But she was just straight, you know, badass. So yeah, but I was raised by these women. And, all, and, I, and I noticed that when I was growing up, I, women always gravitated around me, and not just like in a sexually, but like almost like a protective nurturing, like a coven. I was like, yeah, I, like when I was at um, Rio Tierra Junior High School, I was like one of the only white kids there, or perceived white, whatever, right? And the guys wanted to kick my ass, and the girls told them if they if they touched me that they wouldn't date them, they wouldn't they wouldn't give them a. And these girls told me about that. Some one day the girls came up to me and said, "Yeah, they wanted to kick your ass." And I was like, "Really?" And I was like, "You know, not that I'm a pussy or anything." But I was like, "Damn." And they're like, "Yeah, we told them if they touch you." I was like, "See, I've been protected by the women too." You know what I mean? So, and here's the thing. And that's what I maybe that's what a lot of witches fear is is a man that that encompasses that kind of power. You know what I mean? It's almost like Dune going to the places where they cannot go, just because I'm I have masculine because that would be. I'm just I'm proud of my masculinity. I have that deep voice. I got hair all over. I mean, just it's what it is, right? I mean, I'm not like, you know, overboard like Royd or, or anything. But yeah, I'm proud of being a man. I love women. Oh, my God. Goddesses. Sorry. I love women. Every little kid. I have videos about it. Anyways, I'm rambling. So, yeah, I'm in my power. It's amazing. I'm still got to learn a lot. I'm still working at it. But, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun, kids. So have, have a great day. Remember, think positive thoughts. Love yourself. Do the affirmation in the mirror. You know, the Empress or Emperor, you know, you're awesome. I love you. Get out there and kick some ass and, and hold your head up high. Because I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Gotta leave that real quick. Oh, yeah.